I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. They're gonna make sure you know what. If you come in, you're gonna work hard that day. Being, being around Coach Odell, what was that like for you? Uh, he's a good person. He just lets you know everything. Like he's, You're gonna work hard when you come here. Sometimes you're not gonna like him, but outside of football, you're gonna love him. What do you love the best out of today's junior day? What was the thing that just jumped out at you the most? The thing that jumped out at me the most is that they didn't tell me what I'm going to like here. They tell me what I'm not going to like and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to work on my game. Uh, you had the meet and greet over there when you first got here. What was that like for you? The meet and greet, uh, it, was, it was pretty nice getting to know all the coaches and meet everybody. And just uh, the affection of them showing all the love they showed. What's your relationships like with um, like coaches on the staff? Uh, I FaceTime them a lot. We always on the phone. We talk, we text. Uh, they tell me stuff I need to work on every day. So that's what I do. Who do you usually talk to? I talk to Coach Odell and Coach Martin. What's your relationship like with Coach Odell? Coach Odell, man, I talk all the time. Uh, we talk about stuff. He tell me what I need to do, what I need to do, what I want to do, and stuff. He tell me a whole bunch of stuff that I need to know. You watched this team uh, certainly grow. Had a big season last year. How much did you? Pay attention to kind of what they what they're doing on the field. I pay attention a lot because Coach Odell he'll call me like after the game or something and ask me did I see what D line did and um, I really have to reflect on that when I have a game or something like that. So big stuff like that, that I, I really watch this. Yeah, they've been on you hard. I mean, how are you now feeling about them now that you got here for a junior day? I mean, what, what, where where they kind of sit with you? They um I, I, I post them on top of the team. Is there a top school? No, I don't have a top school. What is it something that you like so much about FSU? What is it about FSU that's so attractive? Um, so what's so attractive? They let me know what I'm gonna do when I when I get here. They're not they're not sugarcoating nothing. They tell me raw up front what I want to do. So I already be prepared for what I do when I get here. Is there something that they do that's unique than how they're recruiting you or just like the university itself? Like why? Why? I guess what sticks out in your recruiting with them, but just anything unique about FSU. Um, my playing style will fit perfectly with their D-line playing style. The way they move and they shift and the way they get off the ball, like that's how I play, that's what I would like to play with. You saw their defensive line last year. Mm -hmm. How attractive is that as a player? That was, very, that was very attractive, seeing how they um, move and maneuver around the old line and then just get all them sacks and tackles and everything. What, um, what's so different about this staff, the way they recruit you, the way they talk to you? Because the, the difference is some coaches, they'll come up to you and tell you, oh, we like this, we love this about you. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you up front that, hey, you need to work on this. You need to lower your weight. You need to gain weight. You need to play harder. You play too hard. You play too soft. Like They're going to tell you up front like, what you need to work on. I, when I, are you I, coming back here? Uh, I'll probably be back in March. I know you're not really committing beyond the top 15 right now, but the, the season they just had, how much of a difference did that make? I mean, knowing the, the success you could have coming to a place like this off the season they just had. Um, basically, uh, the season that they just had, they had a reflection on the recruiting, because uh, they did play very good. The defense was like top 10 defense in the country. They And then they finished the season top 10 in the nation, so they had a big, like, on my top 15, so yeah. Were they telling you that today, or did you kind of already know that just from uh, knowing they were in the... I already know that, and they did say something about it today. Too. Is yeah. this your entire top 15 on your sweatshirt here? No. Nah. Or your hoodie? <laughs> is this every offer? No, nah, this all. some of my offers, not all of them. When did you get that made? I got this made, like, last year. I think I remember you, you had it, like, last time you were on Kansas City. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Is there something left that you want to see from FSU? Is it, I mean, because they've shown the product on the field. You obviously feel good here. Is there something else that you look for in the next visit from them? Um, something I would look for is I would like to see how they practice and train and okay. the way they do stuff. That's what I would like to see when I come in next time. I got you. What are the biggest things that are important for you, like, in the future school? In the future school, I would like to know how I fit in our playing scheme and how, if I would feel like I'm home and the outside relationship outside of football, that's what I would like to see in um, their schools. Seeing you smile, uh, you seem to be really comfortable with this place. I mean, just tell me about that, your comfort level here. My comfort level is pretty good. I'm not too far from home, but I'm not too close to home. So it's like, it's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.